Welcome back, perfect peeps, to asia.p.com. We're going to dive into Gatsby JS's new cloud offering uh, with Sanity.io as the backend CMS. I'm going to show you a live preview how you can update Sanity.io, and those updates will flow over to your previewed Gatsby site. Uh, let's dive in and check it out. Hey there, perfect peeps. If you haven't noticed, I've been checking out Gatsby quite a bit lately, and I wanted to walk through a little bit on their new cloud offering. So let's dive in. First, if you jump onto the Gatsby site, they've kind of moved things around a little bit on their main site, but they have this new get started for free uh, tag. So once you click that, it'll drive you down to a, a, a Gatsby getting started. You can pick one of their starters and currently they have uh, Dato CMS, Cosmic JS, and Contentful, um, and also another Dato uh, CMS down here listed. I'm pretty excited about this MDX one that's coming soon so you can kind of take it off their starter and run with it. Um, of course, what you can do is just go from Gatsby site so I already have a couple Gatsby sites set up, including Agent P. So let's go down this road. Um, I'm going to use my son's website kind of as an example here, as I know he'll love the uh, preview capability. Um, so it's going to ask you a few questions that you know you can tell them about yourself. So I'll just throw in the Alex at Agent P. If you ever have questions, you can email me at that directly or support at agentp.com as well. So I will just do like a client project since it's my son's. I got way too many things out in my repo these days. So let's do a search. Um, so actually on this, I think I will either use his beta branch um, for his beta stuff so he can check it out or the master. And just knowing this um, branch layout here, I'll even bring it up. So if we just jump out to get up here, there's actually a full setup for this that has a web and studio version. That studio side of it is actually the Sanity um, Studio itself that you can run separately. I'll dive into that at the end of the uh, show and tell here a little bit. What we're heading for is this web version that has the Gatsby side to it. So just jump back over here. Okay, so what's going on here? We're gonna pick up pick that uh, beta branch side of it and put it in the web path because that's where Gatsby's at. Um, we'll let Gatsby kind of do some discovery and what it doesn't know yet is kind of what CMS I'm using. So I'd love to kind of go down all of these and maybe I'll do an example next. But since we're already using Sanity, we're gonna pick, um, just skip this step for now. Now what it's gonna ask for, and it picks up your environment variables. If you don't have any listed here and you need some, um, you can usually find this in like your .env, .environment, or .development, or .production file um, if you're using this locally. Uh, so what I'm going to add, I don't need the Al Algolia admin key that actually builds out um, the sanity side to, uh, to Algolia. What I do need is this app ID. So let me go ahead and pull that um, off my, my local file here. So that's my Algolia ID. Sure, I'll throw in a little uh, analytics tag, but the key one here is going to be the sanity read token. And what that allows you to do is um, kind of get live updates on all of your sanity updates. So sanity does this cool thing that that switches over to like drafts mode and it'll pick up on that. OK, so once we get into this preview mode, you should see that it's going to start building. Let's see if we can dive in and, and actually see this. OK, cool. So it's it's out here in that uh, preview mode. I'm not sure why these are red, but I think it will be OK. Um, we'll let that churn for a little bit and then we'll dive back in. Now that we have the site complete, uh, completely built, we can go ahead and check out how to do the live preview. So if we open up this new link, uh, just to cover this real quick, you can see that um, the build completed over here. Now, there, there's something going on a little bit with this one um, when it finally finished. It's usually around a three to six minute build, just FYI. It, it doesn't build for 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, let me open up this link, and this is kind of a new preview that will start up. Um, and this is my son's little uh, book um, thing he's getting rolling and we're working on together. 
So what's cool about this is if I kind of move that over a little bit and then open up his sanity um, based backend and we log into that, we can go into his blog posts. Um, so here we have the latest blog post and if we uh, work on going into that, You'll notice here he has a cousin named Jackson, which is spelled J-A-X-O-N, and so that's why I think he spells this like this a lot. But you'll notice the actual author's name is Percy Jackson, J-C-K-S-O-N. And so what we can do is go into the studio, uh, the Sanity Studio at Sanity.io, and what we can do here is go ahead and fix this. And if you watch carefully right over here as I'm doing this, the Jackson part of that should update. So if we go J-A-C-K-S-O-N, it's like magic, right? It's updating uh, real time. And then we can get a really good preview of what's about to happen on his live site. So his live site on oliversbooks.com still has the outdated J-A-X-O-N. You'll notice that the new temporary site does not. So then what we can do, if it's on Netlify, um, I'm also working on a Google extension, or Google plugin for Sanity right now, um, but if it's on Netlify, you can just click deploy and it will build out on Netlify and then you'll have the blog up and ready as it is. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the new uh, Gatsby Cloud and what you can do to provide these services. The one big thing that I'm gonna put in the blog is that if you've ever tried to build with like Wix or Squarespace or I Am Creator, they're great for like individuals who just have, uh, you know, simple blog sites and things like that. But if you wanna incorporate a lot of different features into your site and still use an optimized PWA based site like Gatsby provides for you, this is probably the ultimate solution for you um, in building in Gatsby Cloud. If you haven't checked out Sanity.io before, make sure to jump out to their website. They have some great information on what it is like to use a content-based CMS. Um, it's a headless CMS, of course, but the great part here is they also have these starter packs. Um, so originally I built everything from the blog with Gatsby, but honestly I have kind of diverted a long ways from that on ajmp.com at this point. I plan on releasing a similar starter pack that will include Algolia, uh, Search Firebase with React components, builds on Google Cloud Platform, uh, all build up into a course that I'll be making out on AJMP soon. So if you check out AJMP and you have that course list out here, you should see one coming for Gatsby in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you have any info or advice you'd like to add, just feel free to drop me a, a little reminder link out here on this tell us about your experience and I check those daily. So if you like the video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell and so you'll be updated the next time I release some information for ajmp.com. Really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.